a chance. I be with the bands like a nigga with the Jackson State of Grambling, young Nick Cannon with the snare drum dancing. What's the way I handle it? Okay, guys. I am in the parking lot of my hematologist doctor. Um. I feel like it's always something in this eye. I notice when I watch my videos back, I'm always digging in my eye or wiping my nose. I wonder if that's, like, do I do that a lot, like, when I'm not recording? I don't know. But, yeah, I am in the parking lot of my hematology doctor. Um, if you watched my last little raw vlog, um, I told you guys I started back going to work and it's a bad thing because I kind of just jumped right in like I didn't go back to work um, a day and then have two days off and then like you know just work two days I actually worked a full five days last week and like this is the second week I'm working a full um, five days and to be honest with you it was foolish of me to jump straight into work. Although I was feeling well, I should have taken my time and just um, braced myself or just went at a slower pace. But I kind of feel like I don't have... Um, I, I'm sure I have say so when it comes to my schedule, but when it's already pre-made, I hate to kind of be the one that's like, can you change my schedule? Can you take me off these days? Because, you know, when you're working with other people, you don't want to inconvenience anyone else by having to take off and having to switch around. And I know our illness is um, a good excuse to have um, that that leeway to do that but I just never wanted to use my illness as an excuse um I never wanted it to hold me back from any from doing anything for myself however um I don't know if this pain is sickle cell related it, it's really bothering me but you know how one pain can egg on other pains and when I stand up for long periods of time at work like five and six hours um my ankles swell up and I'm not sure if that's like a sickle cell symptom but my ankles swell up to the size of like grapefruits and like if I wear low cut shoes they hang literally hang over the shoe so I've been wearing like more supportive shoes um these past two days to work but I actually just got off at one o'clock and it's like 2 12 right now my appointment is at 2 30 and i just called and said hey i'm not feeling well can i come in for some pain hi i'm not feeling well can i come in for some pain meds so that's what i'm doing right now they told me to come at 2 30. um this is the big camera i'm not i still am not of how to get footage off of my cell phone camera because I don't want to be too um, obvious with this camera being that people are up here for chemo as well but I do want to show you guys um, you probably already seen it in the how they administer morphine um, unfortunately at this doctor this doctor's office this is all I can get here um, is morphine um, fluids and nausea meds and I hate it because they don't have Zofran they only have Finnegan and Finnegan um, generic is promethazine and it makes me so incredibly sleepy like it makes me sleepy and I know you guys see I'm in a driver's seat and I shouldn't be but my dad went to pick up my son from the bus stop today and he's going to meet my mom and pick her up from her doctor's appointment so it's like I honestly don't have anyone else to drive for me. Um, my husband's at work, so um, he could take off, but I don't. I don't expect him to take off for just a visit. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and one day I know. I mean, I hope nothing happens, but um, I have to drive myself back home. Like I really don't have a choice. But we're gonna go in here, and I'm gonna get treated. For pain working is just taking a toll on me so um I was hoping maybe third or fourth week in I'll be back into my groove of the groove of things and 
I wouldn't have so much pain just based off um, me getting back in the habit of working. You know, when you first start working out at the gym, you're sore those first couple of days. And then after you keep going, you get the hang of it. Like, that's what I was imagining what happened with work. Maybe I wouldn't feel good right at first, but after I get back into the swing of things, things wouldn't be that bad. Um, I haven't been going to the gym because I've been having pain and because it looks like this outside. So, yeah, I don't like working out in those conditions. The weather suddenly went from hot to cold. So these are all conditions contributing to me not feeling well. Starting back work, the weather, and of course I'm stressed because um, my grandparents. But enough rambling on about me. It is 2.17. I've got about 12 minutes or so to get upstairs. So I'm just going to go ahead and make my way up there and hopefully I can set this, my, the cam, my camera's black, my press is black, so maybe I can rig it up some kind of way so you can see what's going on. And I don't, I don't know, I, mean, I should just ask and I vlog, but I'm sure there's like laws that prevent me from supposed to be doing that. So I just want to really get me, you know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. See you upstairs in just a bit. This is the smallest umbrella I ever came across in my life. And I really do mean came across. Because I don't never pay for no umbrella. I always just come across one. Like that. That's probably how we come across this one. There's never hand sanitizer in here, y'all. Ever. step into the infusion room if he sees necessary but I just go straight in they take my blood pressure and my weight and they sit me in I can pick a chair I want to sit in okay so I'm trying to be in the with you guys sit you right here The right hand, right?
Yeah, we're gonna put it in a warm blanket.